what would it take to eliminate domestic and family violence in Australia? That's a really big question um, and in some ways the answer is simple. Perpetrators have to stop their violent behaviour. But in another way it's very complex because we know that individual behaviour is influenced by so many different factors. Over the last few years we've seen significant momentum um, in departments of education across Australia in the way that they look at preventing and responding to violence against women. Over the next couple of years we uh, have see some really good short term priorities in focusing on embedding what has happened at the curriculum level and around professional development for teachers. As we go to the next decade, what we would really like to see is consolidation of what works. So as much evaluation as possible, some longitudinal studies that show the change that can happen in students and in the teaching culture, the teachers and the broader school community. Our department's committed to uh, eliminating domestic violence. So our primary uh, resource in terms of education of students and families is respectful relationships and we've implemented that across the state for uh, students in P through to Year 12 uh, and we have demonstrated a real commitment to that and a real long-term commitment to the impact that can have on eliminating domestic violence in our state. I think it's really important that we understand that there is a lot of support in our schools uh, for students in relation to domestic and family violence. We have teachers in every classroom in our state schools in 1,200 and 39 schools. That's the first big bulk support and that's a tremendous support that we have in our schools to assist students. I think it's also important we understand we have principals in all of those schools, we have deputy principals in a lot of those schools and we have a lot of other caring adults in those schools. Apart from that of course we have some specialist people like our school-based youth health nurses, our school-based uh, police officers, our guidance officers, our uh, community education counsellors, our youth support workers, our chaplains. So, I mean, there is a lot of support there. But for me, the, the main support is that are those teachers, those, those highly valued teachers in every classroom, in every state school. While I've travelled around Australia, I've um, visited lots of schools and I have a lot of school children actually reaching out and making contact with me. And um, it's been so encouraging because they're really moved by what I've done um, since Luke's death. And um, they've done school projects on me. And, you know, they feel so passionate about this story. And um, so, you know, those are all those encouraging things where you realise you know, that children really are interested in learning and, and being part of that change. In Queensland, the school community is over 550,000 in state schools, with a workforce of over 80,000. That is a large proportion of people that can be driving change at the community level, but also through the Department of Education at the systematic level. What it will take to end that violence is us working as a society to address those factors. That means through our governments we need to be promoting programs that uh, will encourage equality and respect through sectors such as education, health, sports and local communities. What it will take to prevent family and domestic violence is a long-term effort, political will and the desire of all of us to see a change.